Hey guys, there's one thing that we want to make sure we never lose, and that's ability to have an elastic response off the ground. Or this could be using your upper body as well. So maybe we want to enjoy a day of playing racquetball or tennis or pickleball or something like that. We want to be able to have the ability to create some elastic response. Elastic response basically is that quickness. If you took a, uh, a ping pong ball and I dropped it, when it hits the ground, it bounces very, very quickly. Versus if I took maybe like one of those dead ball medicine balls and I dropped it and it just squishes to the ground, that's one part that we don't want our body to turn into, right? So anytime I want to enjoy running, jumping, playing with my kids, I want to have that ability to maybe be able to change directions quickly, maybe be able to reach really quick if I'm playing volleyball. I want to be able to have a response off the ground. We have this, this tissue in our body called myofascial tissue, or fascial. And when that starts to, as we get older, and it starts to lose its ability to uh, respond quickly to pressures, that we, we don't have the ability to respond really good to pressures, okay? So if I put a pressure into the ground, I wanna be able to get off that quickly. So let's have some fun this morning and do a little workout with some quick exercises that allow us to maintain it. A real good one is jump roping, okay? Just the act of jump roping without mushing into the ground. We wanna be able to respond off the ground quickly. So all you need really is just your body and some floor space. You can do this in your, uh, literally in your living room. You can do it out in the garage like I am right now. You can do it outside if you have good weather. The other thing, if you have a low box, so I just got a small box here, it's about two inches. And then the other thing is maybe you have some weights. Okay, so here's, a, here's an Olympic plate. This is probably, I don't know, an inch, inch and a half. It's a 10 pound training plate. You could use something like this as well, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do linear, excuse me, uh, vertical. We're gonna go straight up and down. We don't need anything for this. And then we're gonna go lateral where we're literally gonna translate our center of mass laterally. And then we're gonna go laterally but we're only moving our, from our hips, okay? And our legs are moving. So we're gonna do those three different things. We're gonna do them in a quick circuit, and then we'll relax a little bit, okay? And then we can repeat that. But I really think if you get good at this, you're gonna develop some good strength in your feet, your ankles, your lower leg, and then the, best, the rest of your body will respond to those pressures, okay? So here we go. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go vertical. We call these pogos. Hands go right on the top of the hips, and what we're going to do is we're going to just bounce off the ground and we're going to go 10 times, okay? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. Kick it out. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my low box and I'm going to go lateral. This is not going to be as fast off the ground, although I'm trying to go fast off the ground, but it's just that I'm going to go one leg versus the other leg, okay? So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go 10 times as well. So it's five on each, all right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay. So now I'm gonna stay with my box and I'm gonna go sideways again, but my center of mass is not gonna translate. My legs are gonna work, so I'm going back to being quick. So the first exercise I did was really quick. The second one was I was trying to be quick, but I actually was not as quick just because the loading is a little different. But this last one, I'm going to be as quick, if not quicker, than the first one, okay? So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to go on and off my box really quick. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So I don't need to go really, really long. I'm not... I, I'm, I'm trying to get a little bit of a conditioning effect because I'm not resting really long, but I'm not trying to work like 30 seconds in a row. That's not going to benefit me as well if I'm trying to just be quicker. I'm trying to improve my speed, trying to improve my quickness as an adult, and I, I want to I wanna keep that crimp, as uh, Thomas Myers talks about, that crimp in the tissue. I don't want it to become all long and stretched out and just not very not very elastic. I want to have a little bit of that crimp so bam when I hit I can respond really quick. Okay so let's go back and do it again. 
I'm just going to change it up. The first one, we did this. I'm going to do the same thing going up and down, and I'm going to cycle my feet this time. All right? And again, we're going for 10, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and I'm going to work in my box again. I'm going to go sideways. All right, same thing. Ten. That was a tough one. <laughs> that was always a tough one. All right. So now I'm coming back. I'm going to straddle again. I'm going to try to get that quickness off the ground. You can feel my calves are starting to really work well here. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay. So we did that. We did some lower body. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the upper body stuff. Now what I want to do is I want to get that same elastic response, but I'm going to do it with the upper body. We're going to kind of do this in that, in that payoff, which is that press perpendicular to the direction where the band is. Okay, band's over here to my right. I'm going to press perpendicular to that. So what we're going to do, though, to make this elastic is I'm going to actually have some perturbation. So I'm going to be moving this once I get at the end range of the payoff, all right? And I'm going to do it 10 times on each side. Okay, so we're going here. Here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to turn my back on you for a second and do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, all right, short rest. I'm going to do the same exercise, but now I'm going to add a different loading and stability sequence. I'm going to take my inside leg and lunge forward, come out, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to turn my back on here, inside leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the last one, I'm going to go the outside leg, which is harder. Because the band's over here. The band is pulling me this way. Much more challenging. So we're going to come out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. There we go. All right. Elastic. I got some quickness. My nervous system gets really ramped up. Makes me feel good. But I learned to create stiffness really quick and then be able to take that energy from the ground or from the band and use it to go somewhere else really, really fast. Hey guys, have a great week.